just thought I'd show you today my whiskey barrel code smoker got the original idea from smoking with a Aaron and I'll put a link to his uh, YouTube channel in the description below and links to where I got all the uh, parts to make this barrel smoker from first job I did was after picking up the barrel was to uh, drill some holes through all the metal bands to put some screws in uh, to secure each of the slats uh, four mil hole, four and a half mil hole, and three quarter inch self tapping screws, and they've secured it um, all tightly in place before I can then cut the top off. And just over 200 screws to secure it. Once I cut the top off, I could then go on and concentrate on preparing the top with some uh, handles, which should have been a little bigger, but they're robust enough. Um, unfortunately, the lid is quite heavy. And then a chimney uh, for the top of it. There's a two inch hole and uh, this was placed on top and it's uh, easy enough to control the smoke flow through the barrel. Lower down, I have a damper. This was a nightmare to get hold of in the UK. Um, there was only one available that I could find and that was 33 pounds and 30 pounds for delivery. So fortunately I found a website in America um, I'm got it delivered for £33 all in. Took six days to arrive. I'm really pleased with it. And it was just a case of um, cutting out a three, four inch hole here uh, just to let the air in and a little bug screen there. And then you can control the airflow um, with the damper and in conjunction with the chimney on top. The outside of the barrel um, it's all painted black, all the metal parts with um, hammerite and then yacht varnish for the outside. It's had a good two coats on there and that seems to be keeping uh, it watertight whilst it's outside and so far so good. Inside the barrel, there's lots of ways of doing this but because this is such a big barrel and I wanted to uh, smoke sausages in it to hang them from here so I've got nice long links to smoke. Um, mostly people put brackets in here and, and put the shelves in there, but this is just way too wide for that. So I've got some steel wires, secured them in with some eyelets on each side. And it's big enough there so I can put a wire tray over the top and smoke larger pieces of meat. And then I've got these to put some S hooks on and smoke my sausages. Amazing, I've had this barrel now two and a half months, three months, and it still smells of whiskey. This came straight from the distillery, um, as it was no longer needed. And I was able to pick it up for 40 pounds. And basically, that's my whiskey barrel smoker.